It began as a novelty, a concept that most critics said would never work. Yet State of Origin Rugby League was about to hit the 100 game mark. That magic milestone launched the 2014 series and Queensland wasted little time in igniting their bid for a ninth consecutive title. Inside ball McQueen, it's gone to Greg Inglis, he turns the ball back for Cooper Cronk. It was an ominous start and only served to fuel the Queenslanders' confidence on their next raid 90 seconds later. Tate is there, here's Boyd! Boyd has scored, I think, for Queensland. What are you checking for? There's a celebration happening in the Roan Jumpers. However, things quickly turned sour for the home side on their next defensive set when Cooper Cronk reeled out of this tackle on clubmate Ryan Hoffman with a suspected broken arm. It was a massive blow to the Maroons' defence of the Origin Shield and it was up to their opponents to capitalise. Got the ball away to Morris, Josh, back to his brother, Fred, and the identical twins. They celebrate an Origin try. Oh, he's, he's in agony, the try scorer. But brilliant work on his inside. We've seen this play from New South Wales a couple of times tonight. And Jared Hayne able to get outside his man and create for the Morris boys. With the try scorer fortunately making a rapid recovery and both sides missing their first conversion attempts, debutant Trent Hodkinson nudged New South Wales ahead with a 25th minute penalty goal before his scrum base partner found himself in hot water. Oh, Red Tate has been picked up and cartwheeled by Josh Reynolds and uh, the Maroons are not happy. The Canterbury number six left referee Shane Hayne with no choice but to report him. And Bo Scott's involvement in the tackle on Tate may also be subject to further scrutiny. However, it didn't phase the Blues, who were being inspired by their cool-headed custodian. Hayne looking to break through. Hayne's over the line. Jared Hayne has almost back somersaulted over the line to score. So after their awful start, it almost defied belief that the Blues would take a six-point half-time lead to the Suncorp Stadium sheds. And that became eight, two minutes into the second term after Corey Parker conceded a near-professional foul on his own line, giving Hodkinson his easiest shot so far. Josh Papali had a shot of a different kind on his old mate Paul Gallen. But Queensland needed to do more than just rattle ribs to get back to within striking distance. Try number 14. The Maroons had camped themselves in the New South Wales half for what seemed like an age and did everything they could to break the Blues open. Here's the trouble. Slater for Boyd. Boyd. Boyd looking for triple. No, Brett Morris has come up here with a magnificent tackle three. Head on no try. tackle. It was a mighty effort by a man who had been in agony earlier in the night and summed up his side's sheer courage. But the Blues couldn't celebrate even after the full-time siren had sounded, with Queensland getting a penalty after the 80 minutes had ticked over. Gone to Hodges, now to Slater. Slater is tackled! Slater is tackled! And uh, New South Wales have won the first game of the encounter. It was an epic battle worthy of the occasion, one of the best we've seen in recent seasons. And most significantly, it has New South Wales on the verge of ending their eight-year drought. David Rollins, NRL.com.